Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you hear an insanely loud television, that's Eli in there watching Bob's Burgers. You know, you can tell him a million times to turn it down and he can't hear you because it's up so loud. Anyway, today I am going to talk to you guys about the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Um, I picked this up. This is one of those palettes where I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't say no. I really, really, really wanted it. And I normally don't fiend for a palette. You know, I will, oh yeah, that's nice. If I had the extra money, I'd like to have it. But, mm, you know, I'll get it at some point. This one, I had to have it now. So, let's get into it. The packaging right off, even the little box is, I mean, that is just too cute. But inside, it comes with a little tartlet in bloom. So share your look with us at Tarte Cosmetics or hashtag tartlet in bloom. And it's just got a couple of different eye looks and then how, you know, step by step on how you can do that. On on the back, on the black... On the black. On the back, it's got the same two looks, just in a different language. But, yeah. And here is the palette. Just like the box. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is not embossed or anything. This is totally 100% flat, you know, glossy, smooth finish. And then you've got the shiny, metallic, gold. It just, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And then, my mirror is a little bit dirty. You have a mirror in there, and it says Tartlet on it. And that's kind of embossed on there. You can see my brushes in the mirror. But then, you have the palette. I mean, for real. For real. This, like, screams brandy. Screams brandy. Sorry, there's a glare. I absolutely love every single color in here. I could not be happier with this palette. Um, I did use it for my eye look today. I don't know if you can see it, but it is um, all from this palette. I used Smarty Pants here in the crease. Then I used Funny Girl on the first half of my lid. And then I used a little mixture of Jet Setter and Rebel in like the outer V and a little bit in the crease and then I just on the very outer V I used leader which is the dark burgundy color or any color these to be honest I do have another tart small palette if I can find it yes this little palette it came with the clay bomb foundation um, I did, like, that was one of my first videos way, way, way back there. Well, not way back. I started in April, but that was one of my first videos that I reviewed that set from QVC. This little palette came with that, and I will be honest, you know, these are nice shadows, but Tarte has come a long way because these right here do not feel anything like these they feel nothing these are a little bit chunkier they're still soft and creamy but nothing like this N nothing like th this is and these are beautiful colors this is the clay of life palette if anybody's wondering I actually had forgot about this palette until I was looking in my eyeshadow palettes the other day pulling out stuff that I just wanted to use excuse me, that I had forgotten about, and I was like, oh yeah, I have another Tarte little quad. Anyway, back to this. The eyeshadows in this are unbelievable. Um, other than this little palette here, I have not um, played, or I don't have any other Tarte eyeshadows. And just to be quite honest, at Ulta, I don't know really really know why I haven't, but I haven't sat there and tested any of them before. Um, today, uh, they didn't have any of these out as testers, but they had the regular Tartlet or maybe a different Tarte palette 
out for testing and I touched one and oh my god. These remind me of the Lorac shadows as far as texture and the way they feel. Um, I don't have any Lorac shadows but I do have a Lorac contour kit and those powders are so freaking creamy and smooth. Um, up here you have Charmer. Oh and I did use this and I used this as a brown on highlight and inner corner and to set my eyeshadow. What I'm going to do so I don't have to keep picking this up and showing you and blinding you with this reflective packaging, I'm going to start here and go across, start here and go across, start here and go across. Okay, first of all we have Charmer. Then we have Jet Setter. Then we have Rocker. Even these uh, shimmery shadows are just unbelievably soft. And then we have Smoke Show. So we have Charmer, Jet Setter, Rocker, and Smoke Show right there. And I do not have a napkin. I was not prepared for this video at all. I mean, and I'm having a hard time getting them off my fingers, too. Look at that. <laughs> and then I'm going to start on this second row here and go across. We have Flower Child, which is like, Charmer is like white, like an ivory, and then um, Flower Child is like a bone color. And then we have Smarty Pants, which has got like a real warm, light brown. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. Then we have Firecracker, which I'm excited. I don't know if you guys can see that or not in the light. I don't know what I'm doing. Firecracker. I am excited to use that shadow. You can't tell how shimmery it is on this camera, but. And then we have Activist which is a super dark chocolate, warm chocolate. Um, Smoke Show is a dark, cool chocolate, and Activist is a warm, dark chocolate. These shadows, like these dark shadows, will not come off my finger. I'm going to, yeah, I want to continue to go here. Then we have Funny Girl, which is what I used all over my lid. It is like a champagne-y. You cannot see that at all. You kind of can see the reflect. And then we have Sweetheart, which is kind of like a pinky brown, like a light pinky brown. Can you see the pink in that, Sweetheart? And then we have Rebel, which has got like an orangey, bricky, brick reddish color to it. See? And then we have Leader, which is like a dark maroon color. I mean, these colors speak to me. This is like life in a palette for me. And like I said, the smoothness of these is unbelievable. It is just, it is crazy. I cannot wait to use this every single day. And I probably will. I will be using this every single day for quite some time. Um, I don't have I don't have any of the naked or the chocolate bar palettes. Um, I do want I do want the original chocolate bar. I really do. Even though you know it's just another natural neutral look, I still want it because I'm a makeup junkie and I want to collect it. Um, so as far as comparing it to anything, I have the It Cosmetics, um, Naturally Pretty, the original. Um, I like this better. I really do. I like this better. I like the color selection better. I like the feel of the shadows better. They blend like a dream. They are so pigmented. I just, you know, I could go on and on and on about this. I absolutely love this. If you're going to ask for any palette for Christmas, I would, if you are a neutral girl, if you are a warm neutral girl, I would ask for this one. For sure. 
So yeah, that is the Tartlet in Bloom palette, and that is all I have to say about that. You guys know how I like to talk. And I'm sorry, I still cannot get used to looking at that little itty bitty dot right there. I still want to look at the screen. I don't want to look at that dot. So I know it looks probably looks like I'm talking off into La La Land to somebody else, but I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Anyway, okay, like I said, I ramble on and on and on. So I will let you guys go. Like, subscribe, comment down below if you have this and what your favorite color is and you know, how you wear it, um, any kind of looks you have, and again, thank you for being my subscribers, thank you for sticking with me through the past few months, I certainly appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys soon, bye guys!